Hello everyone. This is Big Mama Sag from Fire Sign Tarot. I hope you guys are doing very well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We're happy to have you. Either way. Oh, you see that sunshine coming through the window? Isn't that beautiful? It's been cold here, but that's typical for the first part of spring here in northern Michigan. I actually snowed a little bit the last couple of days. It's all good though. Warm weather and sunshine is well on its way and we're okay with that. So enough babbling. Today is the start of the Aries season and a start to the new zodiac year. So what do you know? Hey Aries, happy birthday. We're going to throw down your cards for the first half of April today. How do you feel about that? Okay, this reading will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If it resonates with you, that's pretty cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay too. It's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every Aries. You can throw the reading out altogether and never give it a second thought. Or you can check your Moon Rising or Venus sign readings if you so choose. As they come out over the next few days. And I'm going to have plenty of spare time on my hands this week. So trust me, there's going to be some uploads. Um... What else? Oh, yeah. Time and energy are both fluid, and all things can be vice versa, and they play it from the perspective of a cross watcher. Just keep those things in mind. All right. I think one more shuffle, and then we're going to throw it on Aries cards. We're going to bring back Golden Oldie today. We're going to go over how you're feeling, how the person you're dealing with is feeling challenges and connection, what you can do about it, what your potential outcome might be, give you a little bit of advice. Okay, Aries, why are you here today? Three of Wands, you're waiting on something. You are waiting patiently at the dock for that ship to come in. <coughs> Could be a fire sign you're dealing with, possibly another Aries. Three of Wands is an Aries card. So, we're going to fly in the rest of this blind. I'm just going to lay them out. We're going to go over them one by one and then clarify. Never quite enough room on this table, let me tell you. Save that for the end. Okay. How you feel about the person you're dealing with. The strength card. Could be a Leo. Doesn't have to be. Hmm. Someone's taming someone else. There's definitely some polarities here. The polarities can be good. Sometimes aspects can cancel each other out and a connection can be beautiful. What do you think of them? Prince of Wands reversed. You think possibly for whatever reason they may not want to move forward as quickly as you, or vice versa. There may be some feelings of passion that aren't being communicated or aren't being acted on. What do you want from them? Eight of Cups. You could possibly want them to move on from something else. 
Hmm. Okay. Maybe that's what you're waiting for. How do they feel about you? Ace of Wands. They definitely feel like there's potential for forward movement. Again, dealing with another fire sign. Let me tell you. A lot of fire sign energy here. What do they think of you or think about you? Ace of Wands reversed. Sorry. Ace of Swords reversed. There's an Ace of Wands right there. Ace of Swords reversed. I don't think they see you as the best communicator. Or they could be holding back. They feel like you're holding back communication. Holding in thoughts, maybe. What do they want from you? Seven of Pentacles. They want your patience. They want you to be patient. What's the challenge here? Seven of Wands. The challenge is... It could be, could be control, or it could be one of you is fighting or battling something internally. Kind of the theme here, a lot of wands on this table right now, wow. What needs to be done? Prince of Cups. Those little actions of love. Sometimes actions can speak louder than words. Potential outcome. King of Wands reversed. Oh, I'm not liking this. This is a lack of forward movement. This is something being stuck and stagnant. This is someone throwing in a towel. Not quite sure how I feel about that. All right, we're going to get some clarity for you, Aries. Universe, Source, Spirit. Can we get some clarity for Aries? For the cards in the table for the first half of April. Okay, let's clarify this Three of Wands, King of Cups. You're waiting for the ultimate expression of love to be given, or, or waiting to be able to, to. You're waiting for the green light to give it, or you're waiting to receive it. You're waiting on love. Duh. That's why most of you come to the tarot lady or tarot dude. Depending on who you watch, let's face it, that's 95% of the reason people come to the tarots on YouTube. It's why I started coming. It's how I kind of got into reading it, but you know, that's a story for another day. <coughs> Universe, can I get some clarity on the strength card, please, for how Aries feels about the person they're dealing with? I hate it when that happens. It's right there. Okay. Seven of Swords. Oh boy. And there's an error mystery. That's a Seven of Swords. You're feeling like there's something they're not telling you. They're holding secrets back. I don't think I'm going to go any farther into that. Can I get some clarity on the Prince of Wands reversed for what Aries thinks? 
of the person they're dealing with. Nine of Cups reversed. You don't see them as very happy or very emotionally fulfilled. You may think that occasionally they overindulge or fill their cups with the wrong things. What? Can I get some clarity on the Eight of Cups? What Aries wants from the other person? Clarity on the Eight of Cups, please. Four of Pentacles. You want them to let go and move forward from something that happened in the past. Probably something that they're holding that secret about. Probably something that still makes them very sad. Okay. Can I get some clarity on the Ace of Wands? Or how the other person feels about Aries? Can I get some clarity on the Ace of Wands, please? Justice. They feel like you give them balance. They feel like you're a balanced person. That you're fair. Why is the Ace of Swords reversed here for what the other person thinks about Aries? <laughs> Strength reversed and the Four of Swords both popped out. They feel like you're drained and you just need to take a break. Or they think. They think maybe it may be. The lack of communication is just a little draining and it's break time. That's what they're thinking right now. Or they're, they're thinking that's what you're thinking. It's very, that's sketch. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for what the other person wants from Aries? Thank you. Six of Swords. Oh, wow. Can I get another card on that, please? Because I just heard either you give me my time or move on. Or I'm going to move on. If you keep pushing me, I'm going to push you out onto a lake in a boat. Two of Wands. Reversed. I'm stuck. I need my time. I need to figure out which path I'm going to take, and you need to be patient with me. That's what they want from you, Aries. They want your patience. <coughs> okay. The challenge is the Seven of Wands. Somebody is definitely having an internal struggle here, Aries, and I'm thinking it's the person you're dealing with. And they're causing you to have a little bit of an internal struggle because you're not getting what you want when you want it. And Aries, God love you, and don't take what I'm about to say the wrong way. Y'all ain't about not getting what you want when you want it. I want what I want, and I want it now, and I don't have to think this through because this is what I want right now. I'm living in the moment, and I want you in my moment. Right? It's pretty much where you're at. 
And when the moment's over, the moment's over. But right now, I want you in my moment. Eight of Wands. Communication. The challenge is someone's internal struggle and communication and the speed at which it is happening. A lot of fire on this table right now. Holy Moses. King of Pentacles came along with that. This might be a little bit of a control thing. Because the King of Pentacles is very large and in charge. And he has something huge to offer. When I first saw it, it was in the upright. When it landed, it was in the reverse. So this could swing either way. The challenge may be, okay, I'm going to take this offer off the table if I'm not going to get what I want. Or I'm going to take this offer off the table if you don't give me what I want over here. <sighs> but I'm seeing this as, this has the potential to be stable. It has the potential to be beautiful. But y'all need to get over yourselves. And that's Big Mama Sage talking. Don't. I'm not trying to blast you. Aries, cross watcher, whoever's listening. Y'all need to get over it and talk about it. Because nobody's talking about it. Or if you're talking about it, the other person doesn't want to hear it. Can we be adults here? All right. Oh, it flipped out well. Three of Swords. I'm going to throw this up here too. Is the challenge is heartbreak. Somebody very obviously is dealing with a past heartache. Could be a huge part of that internal struggle. What needs to be done? Why is the Prince of Cups here for what needs to be done? Five of Cups reversed. Okay. Somebody needs to get over the sadness. Somebody needs to stop looking down at the three spilt cups and look back at the two full cups. Need to talk about it. Need to put your money where your mouth is. Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take. One more on that. Thank you. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. It's a devil card. Came out in the reverse, though. Definitely need to disconnect from some toxic energies here. There's some toxic crap that happened in y'all's past that you need to let go of. To make this move forward if it's meant to. Everybody breathe. Just take a breath. Be patient. Why is the King of Wands reversed here as the outcome? You're acting like you want to talk. Queen of Wands in the upright. Ace of Pentacles in reverse flew out. The Queen of Wands has a tendency to push her issue a lot. And sometimes when issues are pushed, Things grind to a halt and you end up trying to water a dead rose bush. Dead house plant, you know, that, that house plant that you forgot to water for like two months and 
Or you habitually watered it way too much. Take however it resonates. You're going to overwater it. You're going to give it too much. Offers are going to come off the table. Things are going to grind to a halt. If you don't disconnect from past toxicities and talk things out and work things through. Like adults. Or if you don't give someone the time and space that they need to work through things. I know what it's like to love somebody that much. I do. But sometimes you got to give people their space. Figure it out. Sometimes you need your space. All things are vice versa here. All right. Let's see what the bottom of this deck has to say. Oh, whoa. Advice, Empress reversed. Emperor in the upright. The Emperor just happens to be your card, by the way, Aries. Again, don't take what I'm about to say the wrong way. It's just the energy coming off the card. The Emperor has a tendency to be, I want what I want and I want it now. And if you're not going to give it to me, he's not a very patient dude. But he's been through some shit. He really has. If you don't walk away from that tendency, it's not going to grow. You're going to overwater it. You need to take charge of your emperor. You need to be patient. They want you to be patient. So if you're waiting for the green light, I, I highly suggest you continue to wait. It's the top of the deck, I have to say. King of Pentacles in the upright, Four of Cups. Okay. Again with that King of Pentacles. He flew out over here, remember? It's part of the challenge. He's another one of the I want what I want and I want it now. And I want to give you the world. This might be a little bit of a message for the cross watcher. Or Aries, if everything is all sideways for you and everything is all vice versa, and you're the one who's saying, be patient with me. Maybe you need to stop looking down at, at the, the cups that are behind you and look up toward the cup someone's trying to hand you. I don't know. This is pretty scattered today. You guys might earn a bonus. We'll see how many people it resonates with. I'll check the comments. All right, Aries, I love you guys. You guys have been absolutely wonderful. Okay? You guys are great. Just hang in there. Everything's going to be fine. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If it's your free will, I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. Leave a comment if you're interested in a personal reading or you just want to talk, send an email. I'm, I'm totally game for just helping people talk through their problems. And I don't charge for just talking through your problems. All right. I love you guys. Be blessed. Have a safe and wonderful Aries season. And I'll catch you in a couple of weeks for your second half April reads. Bye for now.